Have you ever wondered if we're truly alone in the universe, or if there's more to reality than meets the eye? What if the James Webb Telescope finally proves that we might actually live inside a black hole? Join us as we explore this groundbreaking possibility that could challenge everything we think we know about the cosmos. So, what exactly are black holes? They're like something straight out of a nightmare. You might have seen them in science fiction movies, but the real thing is even more mind-boggling. According to scientists, black holes are not just patches of darkness in space. They're actually enormous amounts of matter compressed into an incredibly tiny area. Imagine a star several times more massive than the sun squeezed down to the size of New York City. The gravitational pull would be so strong that not even light could escape it. Scientists have been fascinated by black holes for decades. When they started studying these dense, massive objects, they found that black holes could actually trap light. The most famous predictions about black holes came from Einstein's theory of general relativity. Essentially, when a massive star dies, it can leave behind a small, dense core. If this core's mass is more than three times that of the sun, gravity overwhelms everything else, creating a black hole. Detecting black holes is no easy task since they emit no light. However, scientists have developed ways to infer their presence by observing their effects on nearby matter. For instance, if a black hole passes through a cloud of interstellar matter, it pulls the matter toward it in a process called accretion. Similarly, when a normal star ventures too close to a black hole, it can be torn apart, emitting X-rays in the process. Black holes can significantly impact their surroundings. They consume nearby stars, emit powerful gamma-ray bursts, and can even influence star formation in certain regions while hindering it in others. But where do black holes come from? Picture a star, once bright and powerful, meeting its dramatic end in an explosion called a supernova. From the remnants of these fallen giants, black holes are born. Most black holes emerge from massive stars that have reached the end of their life cycle in a supernova blast. Smaller stars upon death transform into extremely dense neutron stars, but they're not quite dense enough to trap light. However, if a star is more than three times the mass of our sun, it collapses under its own gravity, forming a black hole. As these powerful stars collapse, something extraordinary occurs near their surfaces. Time itself starts to behave strangely. From an outside perspective, time appears to slow down near the event horizon, the point of no return for anything approaching a black hole. It's as if the star's clock ticks at a different speed compared to ours. Sometimes when two smaller black holes collide, they merge into a much larger, more intimidating black hole. If a black hole interacts with a neutron star, the result is an almost incomprehensible cosmic nightmare. Scientists have been trying to understand the vast scale of these peculiar phenomena for years. Black holes come in two main types, stellar mass and supermassive, each shrouded in mystery. Interestingly, small is a relative term when it comes to black holes. Stellar mass black holes, the remnants of large stars, can be 10 to 24 times the mass of the sun, and there could be anywhere from 10 million to a billion of these in our Milky Way galaxy alone. That's an astronomical number of black holes with the potential to consume anything in their path. And it gets even more astonishing, supermassive black holes are on an entirely the James different Webb scale. Space Telescope, JWST, is set to plunge deep into the mysteries of our universe, and who knows what it will uncover next. As JWST embarks on its mission, it promises to revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos in previously unimaginable ways. Equipped with cutting-edge technology, it provides a remarkable view into astronomical phenomena, potentially revealing secrets that have eluded scientists for years. A primary area the JWST will explore is the formation and evolution of the first galaxies. By observing further back in time than ever before, it will be able to study the early universe's conditions and the processes that led to galaxy formation. This research could illuminate how the universe evolved from a nearly uniform state into the intricate tapestry of galaxies, stars and planets we observe today. Understanding these early stages is crucial for piecing together the history of cosmic evolution and the origins of the structures we see throughout space. The JWST is also poised to investigate the elusive dark matter and dark energy, which constitute most of the universe's mass energy content. Although these components cannot be observed directly, 
Their presence is inferred through their gravitational effects on visible matter. By observing the behavior of galaxies and galaxy clusters, JWST can help map the distribution of dark matter and offer insights into the nature of dark energy, which is thought to drive the accelerated expansion of the universe. This could lead to groundbreaking discoveries about the fundamental forces governing astronomical phenomena. Another exciting aspect of JWST's mission is its potential to detect and analyze exoplanet atmospheres. By studying the light that passes through a planet's atmosphere during its transit across its host star, JWST can identify the chemical composition of these atmospheres. This includes detecting molecules like water vapor, carbon dioxide, and methane crucial for assessing a planet's habitability. The ability to analyze exoplanet atmospheres in detail could help scientists identify planets that might support life and prioritize them for further study. Additionally, JWST's high-resolution imaging capabilities will allow it to observe the detailed structures of star-forming regions. These areas, often obscured by dust and gas, are where new stars and planetary systems are born. By peering through the dust with its infrared sensors, JWST will uncover the complex processes involved in star formation and the development of protoplanetary disks. Understanding these processes is essential for learning how stars and planetary systems, including our own, came into existence. Beyond its scientific goals, JWST is expected to inspire a new generation of astronomers and space enthusiasts. Its stunning images and discoveries will capture the public's imagination and underscore the importance of space exploration. By showcasing the beauty and complexity of the universe, JWST will remind us of the vastness of space and our place within it. The mission also stands as a testament to global collaboration and the combined efforts of thousands of scientists, engineers and researchers worldwide. The successful deployment and operation of JWST demonstrate what can be achieved when countries and organizations work together toward a common goal, fostering goodwill and cooperation between nations. As JWST continues its journey, it will undoubtedly encounter new and unexpected phenomena. The data it collects will likely lead to questions and discoveries that challenge our current understanding of the universe, progressively building a more complete picture of the cosmos. In conclusion, the James Webb Space Telescope is on the brink of uncovering profound truths about our universe. Its observations will deepen our knowledge of cosmic origins, the nature of dark matter and dark energy, and the potential for life beyond Earth. As it ventures into the unknown, JWST will not only advance scientific knowledge but also inspire wonder and curiosity about the universe we inhabit. The journey of discovery is just beginning and JWST's mission represents one of the most ambitious and exciting scientific undertakings of our time. One of JWST's key goals is to shed light on the processes behind cosmic reionization, which occurred roughly a billion years after the Big Bang. During this transformative era, the universe changed from a state of opaque darkness to one filled with light as the first stars and galaxies began to shine, ionizing the surrounding hydrogen. JWST's infrared capabilities are essential for studying this remarkable period, offering insights into how and when the first light emerged and how it shaped the universe's evolution. Additionally, JWST will examine the nature of supermassive black holes and their formation. Understanding the growth and development of these enormous structures is vital in explaining galaxy evolution, as they are thought to play a major role in shaping their host galaxies. Observations from JWST could reveal how these black holes interact with their environment and potentially trace their origins back to the earliest cosmic times. Moreover, JWST's ability to explore distant planetary systems, icy bodies, and distant objects will enhance our knowledge of planetary science and the evolution of our own solar system. By examining the compositions of distant comets and asteroids, JWST will provide valuable information about the building blocks of planetary systems offering clues about the early conditions on the that opposite led to the end of the spectrum are black like holes, enormous voids that pull everything towards them. They are millions, perhaps even billions, of times larger than our sun and sit at the center of massive galaxies, including our own Milky Way. These cosmic giants are like vast, empty abysses drawing everything in. The renowned physicist Stephen Hawking spoke about black holes throughout his life. His insights were always thought-provoking although some of his theories couldn't be confirmed due to limitations in scientific technology. 
but there's hope on the horizon, an advanced instrument that's changing everything. Enter the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. This isn't just any telescope, it's a marvel of engineering, a testament to human ambition. We've launched other space telescopes before, and they've done their job well. But this one is in a league of its own. The JWST makes the Hubble, which has served us faithfully for decades, look like a mere speck in the cosmos. With a staggering $10 billion price tag, it's a joint creation by NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency, with input from over 300 universities. This project wasn't for the faint-hearted. It took immense risk and collaboration. But recently, NASA announced that JWST has enough fuel to operate for over twice its initial expected mission lifespan of 10 years. Since its launch, the JWST has achieved remarkable milestones. It traveled over a million miles to settle into its orbit around the Sun, where it will remain permanently. On its journey, the telescope successfully deployed its massive five-layer sunshield and primary mirror, which had to be folded to fit on the launch vehicle. Now, after alignment and calibration, it's nearly ready to operate at full capacity. One of the most thrilling moments for the JWST came when NASA announced it had captured its first image of starlight. This initial photo featured a star called HD8446, resulting in a mosaic of 18 scattered bright spots reflecting the light captured by each segment of its primary mirror. NASA later released an improved version of this image, showing these 18 spots aligned in a hexagonal pattern, a preview of the telescope's capabilities. Thanks to its advanced technology, the JWST will allow scientists to study the universe's earliest stages after the Big Bang, including a period known as the Epoch of Reionization. This era marked the reionization of neutral hydrogen by radiation from the first stars. The telescope's power lets us look billions of years back, making this study possible. The JWST will also help in the search for exoplanets, which are notoriously hard to detect because they blend in with the light from their host stars. Its advanced sensors can observe these planets in detail, even capturing images of their atmospheres. By studying these atmospheres, scientists hope to predict if any planets are potentially habitable. Besides studying galaxy clusters, the JWST will provide insights into how matter organizes on a massive scale, revealing the evolutionary path of the universe. Spiral and elliptical galaxies we see today evolved from different shapes over millions of years. The JWST's objective is to look back at the earliest galaxies to understand this progression. Researchers are also investigating how the diverse galaxies visible today came to be and how they continue to form and accumulate. Most importantly, the JWST may help answer the biggest questions. Are we alone in the universe? And are we living inside a black hole? The JWST has already uncovered clues, including compounds known as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs, around massive black holes in three active galaxies. These carbon-based molecules, which could be life's building blocks, emit infrared light detectable by the JWST's mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, when hit by ultraviolet radiation, a sign of young hot stars nearby. Astrophysicist Ismail Garcia Bernard from Oxford University recently analyzed three active galaxies, NGC 6552, NGC 731, and the famous Stefan's Quintet, located millions of light years away. What Garcia Bernard found was both fascinating and chilling. Near these colossal black holes, PAHs transformed into larger, electrically neutral versions of themselves, while the smaller, charged PAHs seemed to vanish. It's as if the very essence of these molecules was altered by the intense radiation near the black holes, leaving behind faint traces. However, some PHs survived by finding shelter within dense gas clouds, creating protective sanctuaries. These remnants, like footprints in cosmic sand, hint at the power and mystery of black holes. With all this in mind we must ask, could black holes hold the key to our existence? Is it possible that our universe is, in fact, inside a black hole? The answer to one of humanity's most profound questions might just be within reach.